welcome to the 2022 International Sea Perch Challenge. This weekend marks our 11th annual Sea Perch Challenge and Robo Nation's first competition in three years. We couldn't be more excited to see you all tomorrow. This weekend's event is the culmination of many hours of hard work and dedication from all our teams. During the challenge, you will test your skills, show off your innovations, and make connections with an international community of robotics enthusiasts. But before we get any further, I would like to express my sincere appreciation to all of our regional competition coordinators, volunteers, chaperones, and educators who have made this season a success. None of us would be here this weekend without you. To our competing teams, you all should be proud of your accomplishments and for making it to this international competition. This year's season included 60 regional competitions hosted in 25 U.S. states and nine countries across four continents. The 137 teams competing this weekend represent the top 6% of the 2,100 teams that participated in these competitions. As we launch into this weekend's space-themed adventure, join us during this video as we introduce several special guests who wanted to congratulate you on your successes, wish you luck, discuss important information about this weekend's event, and get you all geared up for tomorrow. All right, welcome. Hey, I'm uh, Rev. Lawrence Selby. I'm what, uh, what we call the Chief of Naval Research, and what that means is I run this organization uh, in the United States Navy and Marine Corps called the Office of Naval Research. It also includes the Naval Research Lab and a bunch of other really cool organizations that are focused on inventing the latest and greatest science and technology that becomes something that our sailors and Marines can use to hopefully deter conflict into the future. So, I don't know if you know this or not, but there were about 250,000 of you that were participating in Sea Perch over the last year. Uh, there were many, many events over the course of the last several months to bring that total number down to a, a smaller number. And you guys are the winners of that, and you're taking part in this amazing international Sea Perch competition. Um, I'm really sorry I can't be there personally, but my team is going to be there to support you guys. Uh, ONR has been involved in Sea Perch pretty much from the beginning, and so we've got a long, proud history of being a part of this thing, supporting uh, many, many students just like yourselves over the years. Uh, and just so you know, I know how to drive your little Sea Perch things as well. And look at this picture just to prove that. I was recently in Japan, and I got to participate with a team there. Uh, they were actually getting ready for their competition, in fact, and they let me actually drive a couple of the seat perches. So I did that, and here you go. I, I wasn't that good, but I but I was able to make it you know, make it go up and down, left and right. It was kind of fun, actually. Uh, and then look at this one. This is one of the Sea Perch's big, big daddies. It's a big, it's a larger ROV that was in the pool. I didn't get to drive that one. They, they wouldn't let me do that, but I got to see it operate, and that was actually pretty cool as well. Hey, look, when you, we, a part of a team like this, developing, uh, you know, an ROV, a remotely operated vehicle like a Sea Perch, uh, it takes teamwork. It takes an entire team of individuals that have different skill sets uh, and hopefully also of a diverse background. And when I talk about diversity, I'm talking about every aspect of diversity you can imagine. And the more diverse your team is, the harder the problems that you're going to be able to solve. Uh, and let's face it, where we live in today, uh, we have a lot of very complex problems. And to solve those problems, we have got to be able to put together teams of diverse individuals who can come at things from different angles, work together collaboratively to actually solve those problems. And that's what you've proven you can do by getting this point of the competition. And look, I, I tell you, that will not end today. If you can take the skills that got you here uh, to your future endeavors in school, in college, in work, then you will succeed and you will help this nation succeed. So first off, I wanna thank you for getting to this point and congratulate you, but I want you to also look around you and thank those that helped you get here. There's parents, there's teachers, there's mentors, uh, and maybe other students. So please don't forget that you did not get here alone. There were many people behind you that got you here. So you need to thank them as well. And, uh, and with that, I'm gonna bid you uh, farewell, wish you the best of luck. And again, thank you and thank your supporters for coming here and being a part of this competition. Have fun. Competitors and robot builders, welcome. I'm Darrell Pines, president of the University of Maryland. We're glad you're here. Like you, I think robots are great. They're a fun challenge to design and build. They require us to work in teams to get the best ideas 
and they serve an increasingly essential role in society. They perform old tasks in a more efficient way, and new tasks we couldn't perform before, all while keeping people safe. This summer, our university will host some of RoboNation's premier international competitions, further proof that people come here for great ideas. We at the University of Maryland design, build, and test a lot of robots. If working with autonomous technology is your future, this is the place for you. We're also surrounded by important federal partners that use our technology to grow our economy and advance our national security. As a proud engineer myself, I can tell you that the skills you'll learn in engineering or computer science from seeing to the heart of a problem to finding a solution that serves society will benefit your entire life. We know you and your mentors have worked hard all year on your robotic systems and that many of you have traveled great distances to be here. We wish you all the best of luck. Have fun and let the games begin. Welcome once again to UMD and go Terps. Hi, my name is Derek Paley and I'm the director of the Maryland Robotics Center. And I'd like to welcome you to the University of Maryland. We're really excited to host this competition and congratulations on making it so far. We will be having an open house on June 4th for you to check out some of the robotics labs on campus. We're doing really exciting work in aerial robotics, ground robotics, and even robots with legs. So we're so pleased to host you and we're really excited that you'll have a chance to check out some of our facilities and robotics research. Congrats again and good luck. Hi there, I'm Lindsay Grork and I am the program director here at RoboNation. Hi, I'm Cheryl Gadeen. I'm the program manager for Seaperch and GoSense. I'm David Young. I am the product manager at RoboNation. Hi, I'm Allison Young. I'm the program support coordinator for RoboNation. I am Rick Quest, education manager with RoboNation. I am Katie Klotz, community engagement coordinator for Seaperch. Hi everybody, I'm Sherry Couch. I'm the Senior Events Manager for RoboNation. As we gear up for the 2022 International Sea Perch Challenge tomorrow, here are a few reminders. For the health and safety of our students, volunteers, and attendees, please remember to complete the health screening that will be texted to you prior to your arrival. As you arrive on site, follow the Sea Perch banners to the parking lot and check-in areas. During the event, if you have any questions. You can find our volunteers wearing blue shirts and our staff wearing black shirts. We will have volunteers stationed at check-in, in the team pit area, on the pool deck, and at our presentation rooms. Our staff and volunteers are here to help make your day a success. So don't be afraid to ask questions and strike up conversations. And don't forget, have fun tomorrow. The collection of students, educators, professionals, and volunteers in attendance all share a passion for STEM that unites us towards a common goal. If tomorrow doesn't go the way you and your team hoped, that's okay, because there's a great deal we can learn from mistakes. Your success is measured by what your team has accomplished and the victories, small and big, that you will continue to make together. Each of you has shown incredible resilience to overcome the challenges of the past few years. I hope that you are proud of your journey and that you take the opportunity to celebrate that journey and learn from the people you will meet here tomorrow. We don't wanna take any more of your time because it's important that you rest tonight and get ready for our exciting event tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching and I can't wait to see you tomorrow.